as you said, good morning and good afternoon, because uh, probably good evening as well. We are over a few time zones today. Um, but a very warm welcome to everyone to the first Asia Pacific civil registration and vital statistics research forum. Does anyone else have problems with sound or is it only Rachel who has sound problems? Okay. We can hear you, Tanya. Okay. I, I can hear you well. Okay, great. Okay, well, hopefully Rachel will figure hers out as well. Um, this is the first forum of its kind, and we are extremely pleased with the great interest we received for this forum. Um, before we start, I would like to just say a few housekeeping notes. Um, first of all, please note that today's event is being recorded. The recordings, as well as the presentations, will be available on the forum's website, which you should all have received by now. We'll also put it in the chat box. And you can also access the full program for the forum from the same page, as well as the bios of the speakers, abstracts and papers. Please also note that the link to the main forum session meeting remains the same for today and tomorrow. So you can use the same link for all the plenary sessions. That link is also available on the forum website. We would really welcome comments and questions in the chat box. And please also feel free to introduce yourself in the chat. Um, unfortunately, well, since we've received more than 350 registrations for this event, only the presenters will be able to have their microphones on. But please feel free to have your camera on. It's always nice to see who's, who's here. Um, today, we have a total of three sessions, and I'll have the utmost pleasure of moderating the first couple of those. But before we get started, I just want to give a huge thanks to the SCAP CVS team and all of our other colleagues who have helped with pulling this forum together. And a special thanks to Nicola Richard, who has been absolutely instrumental in making this happen. Also, a big thanks to our 12 external reviewers. They're all high level experts in their fields. And despite that, they all agreed to volunteer the time to review abstracts and papers for this forum. And we really, really appreciate that. And to give you an idea of who might be joining us today, um, we've received registrations from 53 countries, and we have a large um, number of, of, of female participants. Actually, two thirds of the registrations are from women. Um, today and tomorrow will be a mix of presentations. We'll also have some time for questions and answers, as well as some breakout groups where you will get a chance to interact directly with the authors of the different papers. And hopefully that can help you learn more about the research and maybe link up with them if you have shared uh, professional interests. But enough from me. Um, the first uh, session starts with opening remarks from Ms. Rachel Devon, and she's the director of the statistics division at SCAP here in Thailand. Um, Rachel joined our division about a year and a half ago, and she has been an absolutely wonderful support to the CRBS work. So over to you, Rachel. Thank you so much, Tanya. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. Let me know if not. Yep. Yeah, OK, that's great. So good morning, everyone. Actually, given that there's so many of you online, it may be afternoon or evening for people. I'm actually not quite sure. So as Tanya encouraged you, do please put your names and where you're from in the chat, because it also really helps us to actually kind of feel a bit more engaged. Otherwise, we're just kind of talking to a list of names. So it's always great to know where you are. So as Tanya said, I'm Rachel, so I'm the Director of Statistics Division, so I've been here, like you say, just around 18 months, although it's gone so quickly. Um, it really is my pleasure today to be, able to be able to welcome all of you to this first, and hopefully definitely not last, but the kind of first ever Asia-Pacific CRVS Research Forum. Um, and just to say right at the start, there's an estimated 64 million children under the age of five within Asia and the Pacific who've not had their births registered. So if we just think about that number just for one moment, 64 million, um, 
roughly the population of the whole of France. It's a bit less than the UK, where I come from, but it's pretty much more than the population of most countries in this region. So it's a huge, huge number of people um, and children under age five whose, whose births are just not being registered. And we also know every year there's around eight million deaths as well that are not registered. And that means we know so very little about these people. We don't really know, you know, how old they were when they died, what did they die of, but all that kind of critical information is so, so, so important for governments as they plan or implement services. Um, and I think it was really brought into kind of um, to the forefront when we had the COVID crisis, wasn't it? And I know even within the UK, we very quickly realised that our own systems on death registration were just not accurate. We didn't actually have all the kind of underlying data that we wanted. Yes, we knew a little bit about causes of death, but actually we weren't able to actually link that up with other information, for example, on ethnicity. Um, and things like that. So we had to really look, you know, within the UK at strengthening our own kind of um, death registration system. So that's even more so, you know, across the region, across Asia and the Pacific. But back in 2014, in recognition of the role of civil registration and vital statistics, and because we knew how important they were in supporting development, governments and development partners then came together to really concentrate efforts on improving CRVS systems. So back then, a shared vision for our region was articulated that by 2024, all people in Asia and the Pacific would benefit from universal and responsive CRVS systems that facilitate the realization of their rights and support good governance, health and development. And the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development also emphasises the inclusive and sustainable future for all, with a real focus on leaving no one behind. But to leave no one behind, that means we need to have these really well-functioning CRVS systems. These systems facilitate access to benefits and protections of the state, but also they really help to ensure that every person has a legal identity. Moreover, registering, documenting and recording life events is critical for government decision making, knowing the population of a country at the really the most granular level, the leading causes of death, fertility rates, life expectancy. All of these things really help governments to make effective, efficient and directed policies at the national and the local level. And the midterm report then of that CRVS decade demonstrated the need for greater efforts to accomplish the vision of universal and responsive CRVS systems. And countries and development partners reaffirmed their commitment to improve CRVS systems during the second ministerial conference on CRVS, which was organised in November 2021. And that was, I think that was my first week in the job. Uh, but was a great introduction as well to the work of the region. Um, and, but also I was able to absolutely kind of hear those commitments that were being made as well and also see how much progress has been made. So if policymakers, development partners and donors are going to make the decisions to strengthen CRVS systems, they, really, they need to know whether they're investing resources wisely and optimally. But research then can really help them to take effective actions at each stage of the policy cycle. We know that research can also help to identify the topics requiring the attention of decision makers. And it's critical for exploring options or alternative courses of action for addressing priority problems. At the decision making stage, research can inform alternative courses of action by offering evidence of lessons learned from the past or from other settings. And once decisions are taken and put into practice, Research is conducted to assess the effectiveness in terms of intentions and results by looking at the impacts and the outcomes. So I would therefore like to personally thank all of the authors, the keynote speakers, moderators and the participants who are here today. Um, and really thank each of you for your commitment to continuously improve the knowledge available to improve CRVS systems in Asia and the Pacific. And we do know, you know, to improve those systems, this is a whole kind of we need that effort to join everybody together from governments, from academia, um, you know, all of the different kind of partners need to really work together on these things. But I also want to say a huge thanks uh, to the internal and external reviewers who've been assessing the abstracts and papers over the last few months to ensure that we, high quality of research could be presented at this forum today. 
And again, a, a really special thank you as well to our development partners and especially the Bloomberg Philanthropies Data for Health Initiative, who have supported this first ever Asia Pacific CRVS Research Forum. So thank you so much to them. And I'm pleased that we at ESCAP have been able to expand our technical assistance in the last few years, and we will be supporting even more countries over the coming years. But development partners such as ESCAP need that additional guidance on which support is needed in countries and how we can best build on the extensive knowledge available across the region. So today and tomorrow, uh, the research presented will really help us to be able to guide the future work on many of these different issues. And we hope to also be able to inspire all of you to do further research on CRVS, but also to create connections to other researchers working in this field. Um, I will definitely be joining as many sessions as I can, and apologies in advance that I can't join absolutely all of them, but I will be, be listening in. Uh, but I would really encourage you as well, as Tanya said, do please make the most of the chat function. Uh, we don't want to just kind of be listening all day. It's great to get your thoughts, your questions, but also just your thoughts and reflections as well as we kind of go through hearing from different people. Um, but yeah, it is a really, really great opportunity to join everyone together. So thank you to everyone in terms of the organisation. Tanya, a huge thank you to you and also to the whole of the CRVS team. And I know it's been a huge effort, but we're re I'm really looking forward to it. But thanks to everyone for all of your efforts to really make sure that we get everyone in the picture. Back to you, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. And uh... Very, very nice. And, and you can all see that Rachel is very dedicated to this issue as well, which is fantastic. Um, we have a second set of opening remarks, and these are from uh, Ms. Treta Sharma. And Treta is the chair of the Regional Steering Group for CFES in Asia and the Pacific. And she's also the Administrator General for the Ministry of Justice in Fiji. Um, unfortunately, Treta had some competing commitments, so we have received her remarks as a recording. But she's actually extremely dedicated chair to the group and uh, we've worked very closely with her since she became the chair and she's also done a lot to push improvements to the CFS system in Fiji so we're very honored to have her as our chair and um, I'll ask my colleagues to show her opening remarks. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the first Asia Pacific CRVS research forum. I am opening this forum in my capacity as the chair of the Regional Steering Group for Civil Registration and Vital Statistics in Asia and the Pacific. The Regional Steering Group is the custodian of the Asia and Pacific CRVS decade and guides countries and development partners towards our shared goals for the region. I am delighted to be opening this very first research forum as there is a recognized need for applied research in the area of civil registration and vital statistics to increase our understanding of what works and how we can better deliver our commitments to get everyone in the picture. In that regard, in 2014, when we reached our agreements on the Asia-Pacific CRVS decade, an initial research agenda for CRVS was also developed and the regional steering group had made priority, had made this a priority for the coming years. Research is needed to generate and disseminate evidence of which CRVS strategies work in different contexts and to facilitate evidence-based interventions to improve systems across the region. By documenting experiences in communities, countries and regions, we can ensure the potential benefits of innovation are successfully scaled up and possible shortcomings addressed. We already know that a well-functioning CRVS system requires inputs from a multitude of stakeholders from different professions, government agencies and departments, as well as dedicated and political will. If the potential of research to improve CRVS is to be exploited optimally, the institutional, political and cross-sectoral nature of CRVS systems should be recognized and addressed. I am therefore pleased to see authors from many different sectors and professions presenting at this forum. 
Rapid ex advances in knowledge and technologies shifting expectations and concerns of the public are becoming more important for civil registration systems. And we need to cooperate and learn from each other to ensure the optimization of resources by sharing research findings in this forum. I hope we can build a larger no body of knowledge on CRVS to improve to support us in improving CRVS systems across our region, bearing in mind the limited resources available. In my home country, Fiji, CRVS is an important issue which garners high level attention and a large number of activities addressing under registration, improving the production of vital statistics and streamlining the digitalization, digitalizing processes. I am honored that several of my colleagues will be sharing their experiences from Fiji over the coming years and acknowledging the huge efforts all the authors have put into their abstracts, papers and presentations. I am glad these will be readily accessible to everyone for the purposes of evidence-informed policy, programming and practice and advocacy. I look forward to learning more about the exciting initiatives to improve CRVS across Asia and the Pacific and use this research to continue our work to get everyone in the picture. Thank you. Um, so this is actually the end of the first session um, and the second session is planned to open at 9.30. So this is a perfect time for everyone to quickly grab a coffee or a glass of water or run to the bathroom, whatever you might need. Before we do that, we just want to show you quickly where you can find all the documents for the website. Um, so uh, all the documents for the forum. So on the Get in the Picture website, there is a whole page dedicated to the CBS forum. And under there, you can find um, the full program. You can download that, uh, which um, my colleague is just showing here how you do that. Um, but, and in that, um, you can find all the links um, to the different set, to the sessions. So we will be using the same main link for the main sessions, but we have this very exciting Ask the Authors part of the program as well, where you'll get a chance to interact directly with the authors and they will have separate links. Um, you can also find those on the actual uh, website under program day one and program day two. And also there you can find all the biographies of the speakers, the abstracts, the, um, the papers, and after the forum, we will put the presentations up there as well, as well as recordings. So if you're getting a little bit lost at any stage, run directly to the website and you should be able to find absolutely everything there. And otherwise, please use the chat box and we'll help you out. Um, but everything is available on the website and we very much encourage you to, to use the chat box for, for comments and, and so on for the of your full two days. So you will have 10 minutes now to just uh, go and get ready before we have session two, where we have some very exciting presentations. Um, so we really look forward to seeing you back in 10 minutes. Thank you.